Hey guys, welcome back to Gravity Ghost. Last time we did the Owl Guardian area, and now we're here for the hair. Fire and ice. We have an increasing number of mechanics to play with now. Oops, let's be careful not to terraform when we don't want to. So the, the newest ability is that I can double jump. Or I can actually kind of jump over and over again if I want to. Ooh, that's a fire planet. I don't know if that's going to be good for me or not. Let's find out. Oh. Fire doesn't seem to be doing anything to me so far. Maybe we'll learn about it. Was it just- maybe this was just an introduction to the fact that fire exists? Because it doesn't seem to do anything to me so far. Sleepy Star. This is where a skeleton is, so I need to go find a spirit and bring it back. Where's the star? Is it inside of this thing? Maybe? There it is. So this whole thing's full of sun. Where's the star hidden at? Oh, it's inside that planet up there. So I need to take this planet and turn it into water. There we go. And then light it up. So I can go collect. This might be a little hard. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward. I maybe got this. The double jump's definitely probably gonna help. There we go. Progress. But I can't deal with that skeleton until I come back with the, uh, it's matching spirit. So that's gonna be it for this room for now. What do we have here? There's a footprint up here. There's another skeleton over there. There's a firepower over here. That could be fun. Uh, Zeno's Paradox. Why not? I can really take- I can really basically just take whatever path I want to. So... Is the game- is the, is the game gonna teach us something about the firepower? Because I don't know if it's actually done anything yet. I just casually picked up my, uh... What's going on here? Oh, does fire repel? Was it supposed to do that before and I just didn't notice? Maybe it was. Either way, that we just casually walked in and grabbed the star like it wasn't a big deal. Event Horizon, that's an interesting movie. I'm not, not sure if I'd fully say good, but interesting for sure. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, no. I should have dive-bombed instead of uh, floated. Come on. Uh, that star is... Yep, all right, there we go. Definitely a little obstacle course. The gravity is really weird because the fire does seem to repel. And then, of course, there was bouncy objects everywhere, so things were difficult for a br brief moment. All right, fire element. What do we have to learn about you? All right, so let's say I'd switch to fire here. Laying down our bricks. So what's gonna happen when we do this? Now you're fire, which means you repel. But what am I earning by repelling? The fire element actually makes a lot of sense from the perspective of uh, the hang gliding ability because you j you use you use hot air to levitate when you if you do like a uh, say a hot air balloon or something along those lines. Gonna go ahead and backtrack and take this alternate path as we approach, and we'll we'll meet up at, la at launch pad in a second here. So we have a whole bunch of fiery paths. Interesting. So our goal here is to rotate it around this thing over and over again, but if we're not but if we're not careful, we get drawn we get uh interfered with by these various fire planets. I can probably just kind of hover here though, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty manageable. They ch they keep trying to make them into puzzles, but they don't never they never seem to be quite as challenging as they I think they want them to be. Hup. Okay, getting the star might be a little more harder. There we go. Now I need to catch this floating. This is, I think this is the first time we've just had a floating, uh, a floating door. That's where the oh, this is where the true Dark Souls experience begins. Uh, how do I get to that? <laughs> it's floating. Oh no. There we go. Just kind of dumb luck at that point. Just hold the joystick in the direction of the door, and one day you'll eventually catch it, maybe. If you're really lucky and you eat and if you eat your greens. Star? Oh, there's a bunch of tiny planets everywhere. That's really confusing. Once again, we're finding a skeleton, but haven't found the spirit yet, so we can't actually use it. Launch pad? I'm guessing towards the second half of the area is gonna be where we actually find all of the uh the spirits we need. So we're gonna have to backtrack a bit. All right, clearly they want me to go straight up, so let's go for it. Yep, that was easy. And float right on over to the, uh-oh. To our door. A lot of really quick rooms. It's definitely a short game. It's kind of just a whimsical little like, hey, let's enjoy some nice artwork and 
float around for a few, for like a meh, like two hours probably, and then move on. That's more or less the experience that this game has for you. Uh, let's go down towards it. You can't repel my ability. You can't you, you can't repel my magical uh, floating abilities. Turn into water. A little counterintuitive because it's made of fire, but we managed. That's how we get back inside. Well, are we already, are we already wrapping up this area a little bit, aren't we? Up next is, uh... Rapid Heart Star Stuff and the Rapid Guardian. Did I miss a spirit down here? There's there's a pop there's a pop hat over here. Oh, there is a spirit over there, my bad. I just kind of wandered away. I was so focused on the giant thing with the star in it. I didn't necessarily fully pay attention to the uh, spirit. Is it asking me to collect the star again? It looks like the star is showing up inside there. Oops. What? I'm, I'm strangely having more trouble now than before. Careful. Ah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at you. What are you. Oh, you're a porcupine, aren't you? Well, I know just the thing to do to. Oh, wait, I can't transform this thing because it's. It's pretty important to the puzzle that it stays what it is. Hick. Hick. Hey, buddy. Ah. Come here. Come here. I can mess with your jump. I can mess with your jump and send you over here. Or I can't, apparently. There, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Just hugs. Hug it out, man. Hug it out. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, if I immediately dive bomb the floor, it's actually relatively easy to make them just come at me. I don't think I need... I think I grabbed the star already, right? So I don't really need that. So I'll just get out of here. Alright, I can double jump. I forgot about that. We need to catch this... We need to catch the difficult door all over again. Difficult door? Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ah, oh, I held it for... Oh, I got it. We're gonna go... We're gonna go for the other paw, because we have two separate... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say we have two separate skeletons, and I wouldn't be able to tell which one's which, but this one's clearly standing now, so I must have found this one specifically. Alright, porcupine. Let's return you to your body. Are you happy now? Are you a happy porcupine? Please be happy. Hello there, Mr. Porcupine. Now give me all of your hair pieces. Oh god, you're blowing things up. You blew it up. You blew it all up. <laughs> Alright, right back outside. Oh, getting stuck a little bit. It, 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 it. There we go. Cutscene. promised Hickory you would go to your room. Of course, technically, you have never promised you wouldn't leave again. Clever. Shh, you're having a dream. Shh. So, yeah, she was really fun to be around and didn't annoy any of her neighbors at all. Bubble wrap. So this is a, both a new planet and... Uh, yep, there's the spirit animal down there. We have a mouse, and so much stuff, so much stuff to break. Yay, bubble wrap! I don't even care about the mouse right away. I just want to break everything. I just need to, I just need to escape gravity. Oh, I got him already on accident. Go figure. <laughs> all I was, all I cared about was just uh, making a mess of things. It's surprisingly hard to go break everything when you have to deal with the fact that uh, all around you is a uh, gravity source. Oop. Definitely drawn towards the middle a little bit when I'm in when I'm in break mode. Yeah, got a oh that one had a nice uh, air planet inside of it. So where is the uh, there's the door? All right. So now that we have that spirit, we can backtrack to the other the other skeleton briefly. Come here, mousey. I'm about to fix all your problems. Oh, get it? It's the mouse. It's on the planet. It's on it's on the planet full of full of small planets. You look good!
Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Because the mouse was dead. Get it? It's horrifying. Lols. Oh, right. I, I want to grab all the, the, the hair pieces. Because there's so many of them. I'm not, a, I'm not about being completionist, completionist about them anymore because I realized how much time I was losing to collecting them at first. But I definitely want to go for at least a chunk of them when they're just going to be all in a line like that. Wow, that, that extra jump's really handy. Hey, door. Alright. I came as soon as I heard. I'm sorry, child. They were good people. The children, they'll need new guardians. Why not you, dear? You are their family. I'm their sister. And I had... other plans. Nothing needs to be settled before we eat a hot meal, Dilavan. Keep your head up. Your miracle baby pulled through, didn't she? And without the medicine. That is something to be thankful for. Things will get better, you'll see. The sacred geometry that holds our universe together will keep us all close. So judging from that, it sounds like my parents may have died, unfortunately. And that uh, our sister may have given up on her hopes and dreams so that she could protect us. I, did, I need to get you out of there, but where's the hole? Oh, it's on, oh, it's on top. So, this is, a, this is a little nightmare, isn't it? Alright, so, the opening goes to the left over here, then down, back and forth a little bit. Oh god, this is really hard to trace. This is genuinely difficult to trace with just my eyeballs. Uh... Where am I going? Okay, I think I know where to go. Right after I go fucking crazy with eye strain, trying to keep this image straight in my head of the path I think I know. Oh no, but now I have to remember it backwards. Did I lose it? Oh no, did I lose it? This is difficult. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Around. I, need, I, need to, I definitely need to go down again. And that, that weighs a dead end, so it has to be around here. Then I'm going to loop back around. Thankfully, I'm mostly going in one direction, so I don't have to worry about looping it back the way I'm coming. So basically, I, most, pretty much every time that I find forward progress, I'm pretty much set. And it's gonna be right down here. Don't fall through the hole. Yay, it didn't fall. I don't have to make it go back up. And here we go. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm the victor. Now I just need to claim this shit over here. Relatively easy. Just need to fly back and forth with my crazy hover power for a little while. Just throw in an extra jump every now and then whenever I'm about to fall in. There we go. Gimme. So now we have a dash ability. Oh, there we go. So X now dashes. So A is a double jump. Left trigger is float, right trigger is drop, and X is dash. A is double, yeah, a, we have a lot of abilities now, wow. A lot of them are, they're, it's funny, because they're, they're, uh, they're generally, at least most of them, aren't very like mandatory for actually solving puzzles, but they're handy for making you more mobile and have more control. So, from a storytelling perspective, they kind of symbolize the character becoming more and more at home with with their uh, more and more familiar and accepting of with of their current living uh, situation. Oh, so I have to somehow touch all of these back to back. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I missed it. That was so close. There we go. Oh, there's more. Oh Jesus, there's layers. There's layers, it's like an onion. An unfunny onion. Oh shit. Which is hard to do because the onion's hilarious. Oh. 
This one's gonna drive me crazy, isn't it? This one's- I'm gonna be here for 17 years. It's gonna be the rest of my life is me trying to get these things. Hit. Can I just spin around this thing? Hit. Hit. Go, 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 go. Yeah, oh. Yeah, dash. Alright, so just a mixture of hang gliding and dashing. Oh, I went the wrong way. Went the wrong way. This is hard. <laughs> this is genuinely difficult to control. Uh, Alright. Alright. Hit! There we go. I wasn't fast enough, was I? And I'm gaining altitude now. Which is not helping me. Hit! Ah, oh, I thought I missed it. Why? Why did this have to be a thing? In a game that's mostly whimsical, floating around however you sp however you feel, suddenly we have to be really precise about our controls. Oh man, they're so they're in such specific parts of the sky. Hit. Ah, I missed it. Got that one. Got that one. Hit. Ah. This is hard. This is very hard. Got those too fast. Ah, and I missed the last one. That. Uh, come on. Pray, come on. Cheer for me, audience. We can do this. I just need the power of your spirit for my spirit bomb. And then we'll be all powerful or whatever the fuck happened in, in Dragon Ball Z. No one really knows. No one really knows. They think they know. But they don't know. They're just- their childlike mind tried to accept it. But really, it was a metaphor for Hiroshima. What? No! Hey, I did it! I don't know how I did it. That was weird. I pressed like three buttons at once and my character just kind of flipped out and just went directly where they needed to go. I was like, oh, I found the wind button. Awesome. I'll just tell nobody where that button was and I'm set. No, it was skill. It was all me. I did it because I'm amazing. How else would I do it? All right, let's go meet the rabbit guardian. Oh, he's adorable. Do I have to wake him up? And his weird star butt? Do I have to feed him? Oh, I probably have to go collect this food up in the air. To wake him up. Okay. Let's go fly a kite. Up something something heights or something. I don't know the words to that song very well as it turns out. Uh, I apologize to everybody. Wow, we have to- We this might be difficult. I have to gather the stuff towards me. Come on. Come on. Alright, we have four of them, I think. This game likes the number seven is what I'm getting at. I just dropped one of them. Just need to bring it down from orbit. And bring it to the dish, right? That's how this works. Did I... Did I win? Please? How do I put them in? Can I at least dump them here so I don't have to chase them? Ah, they're gonna keep sticking to me. Okay. We'll just try to keep them together as we gather more of them. Uh, careful! Don't go too slow. Go. I mean, don't go too fast. We're just gonna hover for a bit. Is this all of them? Maybe. Did I win? Oh yeah, I did. Awesome. Does he ever wake up? Do you ever wake up, Bunny Rabbit? What if I jump? What if I step on your head? <laughs> There's not- there, there isn't another one out there, is there? Let's go grab the star and see what happens. Yeet! Please, Rabbit Guardian. Have you seen a ghost fox? No, little one. But I'm sure he is safe. The sacred geometry protects us all and holds the universe together. It wields the combined forces of love and gravity, which are woven from the same fiber. Pardon? You see, love is just like gravity. Think about it. A planet and a moon orbiting it. They don't speak. They don't touch. And yet, they dance together through the ages. So it is with love. Even if you are apart, you know the other person is there. Even if they're not there. You see? So what happened to cause the black hole? When one of us is really gone, it leaves a hole so big, nothing in the universe can fill it. 
Aww. Things got really sad there. Also, that's the plot of that's the plot of Interstellar. Spoilers. <laughs> Where? So, come on, get back out of here. Also, that that seems like the rabbit guardian is basically the same uh, voice as uh, the grandmother character we had earlier, or whoever. I assume it's grandma, but that's just because I see old lady and just assume grandma. That might be ageist. All right, so our last area is going to be wolf and dog. Two more episodes and we wrap the series up, I assume, unless there's a secret world, like this is a Mario game or something. Let's go fill the next zone. Yeah, if anyone knows how to talk to these people, I'd like to hear it. Vem kan se la för utan vind? Vem kan ro utan oro? So I basically just walk up to people and hit right trigger, and then nothing happens? Maybe it's just a specific element. Is that what it is? I'll just try every element on it. Oh, there it goes. They're just elements. Okay. The moon was high tonight. That means the tide is high. Eddie can't leave her island. This earth should make it, I don't know, a bridge. It's her. It's her. It has to be her. I'm sorry, Eddie. You were always so giving. I never realized how much you were in need. Maybe one day you can plant your own garden here. Oh, I can plant carrots. And rhubarb. Maybe rhubarb. Or both. Just do one thing for me first. Get off the island. You need to get off the island. So she's looking back on people she saw in life with regret. So this is interesting. So now, I, so, so I, I did it right once, but then I forgot again afterwards. So let's see, what element do you have to be? Let's try Earth first. Is it, are they all Earth? Is that what it is? No, this one's something else. Oh wait, it says Frost in the middle of it, so clearly it has to be Frost. Wait, I don't have an Ice ability though, do I? Maybe Water will count? No, Water, Plant. Air, fire. Interesting. So I think what's going on here is why I was so confused is that as you progress through the game, you unlock each of these planets, but then you unlock the, I think you unlock different elements on different planets. So you, as you progress, you unlock the, you, you unlock a planet, but you have to get the element for it separately. So we'll, we'll just check to see if I can unlock the other ones here. So what could you be? Oh, I'd accidentally reset it apparently. There we go. Maybe air? It's a windmill. There we go. Makes sense. There, yes! The air made the windmill start spinning! Hickory, get up! The winds are here. Oh, it's almost time to harvest from Mom's garden. You've got to go on. I've got to go on. Our family needs me. And I needed you. I'm sorry I was so much trouble. But right now you need to keep your eyes open. There's smoke all around the house and I don't know where it came from. Oh wow. Everything got really dark really fast here. And she's just... She just looks like she's dying. She, look, she, looks, she looks defeated and sad and her makeup is streaked around her eyes. Clearly this has to be water, because it's a it's a lighthouse, right? That's some logic there. No? Earth? There's a diamond in the middle of it. I don't know if that indicates anything. We probably need some sort of diamond element. Fire? No. Okay, so we can't do this one yet. Alright, well now that I know that, I feel less stupid at least, because so we need we needed we needed elements that I need to unlock elsewhere. So I assume that these last two planets that are empty are going to be the wolf and the dog planets and they're going to work with two of the elements I already have and the elements I get from those planets are going to work on these pl ones that I haven't been able to unlock yet. And we're going to get more depressing non-linear chunks of, of uh, depressed character... <laughs> really just dark stories involving this character's backstory and the world she le leaves behind and potentially her regrets. Alright, I'll see you guys next time on Gravity Ghost.